All right, it is the top of the hour. Let's kick this off. Welcome to the free training. So this year, 2023, my goal is to do a free training, live training, once per month. So um, this month, we're starting off with a bang. We're going to be talking about the acquisition machine here at Gym Launch that we built and how you can utilize it to grow and scale your facility in 90 days or less and fill it to capacity with high ticket clients. I'll start in just a second and go through that. But every single month, we're going to be doing a free training for gym owners around the world. Um, there is no pitch here. I'm not selling anything. I simply just want to give back to the community because here at Gym Launch, our mission is ultimately to help gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and build a wildly profitable business. So if you are a gym owner, welcome. Um, if you are not a gym owner, welcome. Um, awesome. Kevin, you're from Stewart. I love it, man. I'm a little bit north of you here. I'm actually just south of Jacksonville. So awesome. I'm going to share my screen. We are going to get this rock and roll. We have a ton of things to go through tonight. So before we get started, my only request is for those of you, you will get the recording. So if I talk fast, um, one of the helpful tips that I ever learned from Alex Charmozzi is he talks really fast. And the most helpful tip I ever got was to listen faster. Um, however, for those of you that are like, wow, that was a lot of information because I'm going to give you pretty much everything on how to fill your gym capacity in 90 days in this training tonight. Just understand that you will be getting the recording as well. So you will have this, you will be able to go back to it. It will live live in the high ticket group unless for some reason technology screws up and it doesn't happen. So for those of you in the high ticket group, you'll be able to go back to this, access it and see it. All right, so let's dive in. Tonight, we're going over how to fill your gym in 90 days with high ticket clients and no marketing budget, even if you've never run ads before. Now, that is definitely a sexy headline for a presentation, without a doubt. It might even remind you of something like these easy ways to make money, all that stuff, okay? And I get it. And I was in your shoes not that long ago. So this was the very first location for me that I ever had. And that little corner where you see the mats on the turf and you see the wall ball targets and the rig, that little corner of a baseball academy was how I started my first gym. And I started with one client at a 5.30 a.m. class. Then, trying to make ends meet in my failing gym, I had moved to a new location and I had roughly about 30 members in the gym. I ended up having to get another job and I was working 60 hour plus weeks and I had to get another job just to put food on the table for my little girl. She was right there. I took this picture of my wife who was also bartending at the time. She was taking a nap. She couldn't stay awake and my little girl was there smiling. And I will never forget this because it was one of the moments for me that was the hardest in my life because I could not take care of my family and I couldn't provide for them financially. And I was still trying to do this gig where I was trying to help as many people as possible live a healthier life and I was struggling. And I don't know if any of you are in the same position as I am or I was, um, but it's a very tough place to be. It's very hard. When you look yourself in the mirror and you're working your ass off every single day to try to change lives and you realize when you look at your bank account that it's not paying off, it can be very, very tough. So I've been there. Um, and then I came across a very simple acquisition system that helped me add 75 high ticket clients in 10 days. We ended up moving to a brand new facility that was three times the size of the other one and we filled it. And I used this to absolutely change my life. And my life completely turned around. Now I have another kid and I get to do this, which is incredible. So once I found this acquisition system, over the next eight months after finding it, I used this exact system to consistently acquire new clients on demand, fund the high performance team that I built and basically handed my gym over to, and ultimately exited my gym to do what I'm doing now and work here at Gym Launch, Prestige Labs, and soon to be gymowners.com. Best part about this entire story though, is I wasn't alone. I did this with literally thousands of other gym owners at the same time, and we have, over the past seven years, worked with over 5,000 gyms around the world, helping thousands of gym owners reach more people. Every single one of these is an individual testimonial. Every single one of these is an individual testimonial. Change hundreds of lives and build wildly profitable businesses. And if you're into stats, I wanna give you a few from over the past seven years. We've helped 5, 000, over 5,000 gym owners in 22 countries, We've created over $80 million a year gym owners. We have helped the fitness industry through our acquisition strategy create $650 million in revenue from our clients. Our average gym lord increases their revenue in a year by $205,000. Their average profit increases by $105,000 and their average churn decreases by 50%. They raise prices on their current clients, meaning they make more, meaning their clients are more invested, they get better results and their churn cuts in half. And I say all of this to let you know that here at Gym Launch, we have your back. We are a company created by gym owners for gym owners, and we care about one thing, and that is helping gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and build a wildly profitable business while they do it. 
and all 60 plus of us here that work at Gym Launch, 17 of which are former current gym owners just like yourself, all of whom who have used the same system I'm about to show you tonight. And we all have your back. So without further ado, let's jump in. To start, I need to explain the only ground rule that we operate on as a business here at Gym Launch and that I want to assume that you operate with too. At Gym Launch, our North Star guiding principle as a company is this, a business owner wins by making the same prospect more valuable to his business than to that of his competition. By extension, the gyms that create the most profit per customer will dominate their respective marketplace because the more profitable your core offering is, the more you can turn around and spend on marketing to attract more customers, aka help more people. The more you can spend on serving those same customers, the more invested they will be, the better results they will get, the more your clients will, will talk about your business and the more referrals you'll get and the more money you will make. All by structuring your core offer as your biggest profit center. So what I want to show you tonight is how some of our clients have taken this business truth and applied it to their gyms to massively scale their members, revenue, and profit and how you can do it in your gym in the next 90 days. Because if you've struggled in the past to consistently grow your gym, I want to put those fears to rest and I want to make sure that this year is completely different. You just need the right acquisition system to unlock the opportunity that's been right in front of you the entire time. You see the gym industry, a lot of gurus out there, would have you think that you can only grow your business by handing out flyers or organic posting or cold DMing people or, or one singular method. However, here at Gym Launch, it's, we know that it's not true. We know that there are models that matter and you can use any type of method but if your model is not correct, it doesn't matter what method you use, you will still never be able to acquire clients at a profit. You need a simple three-step process that's been proven across over 5,000 gyms around the world that turns cold traffic into high ticket clients on demand. And that three-step system is what I am about to walk through. So please make sure you have notes ready, you have something to write with, please make sure you have water, you're sitting down, you're ready to go. Or maybe you're standing up like me. But I'm gonna show you exactly how our clients have used the Gym Launch acquisition machine to scale their gym successfully in the next 60 minutes. And my goal here is to help two types of gym owners in this training. The first type of gym owner is for those of you who don't run ads. If you don't run ads, let me know. You'll see exactly why you're missing out on the biggest opportunity to scale your gym and how our clients are using ads to rapidly grow their gym biz. For those of you that are running ads, I wanna know, but not seeing the ROI that you need or you want, you'll learn how to get 5x returns on your ad spend and how our clients are able to use the system to consistently hit $100,000 or more months. And in the next 60 minutes, my goal is to get you to believe that our client finance acquisition system is the key to reliable gym profit and growth, one that can actually set your gym up for good and how we have used a three-step process for almost a decade to help gyms fill their facilities to capacity in 90 days or less without a marketing budget. Here's the journey, it's very simple. Step one, we get the leads, step two, we get them to show, and step three, we close them. Sounds very simple, it is. However, there are complexities in this that I'm gonna walk you through and guide you through so that you know exactly how to do this starting right now so that this quarter, you can fill your gym to capacity. But before we jump into exactly how to do that, we have to get into how to implement we have to understand first the problem facing gyms today before we ever do anything about implementation. The primary reason gyms don't grow is because they lack a consistently profitable new client acquisition system, meaning they're missing something what we call client financed acquisition. For those of you that have been in the gym launch world, you've probably seen ads about this, we understand this. We're gonna preach this until we're blue in the face. It's a fancy word, but what the heck does client finance acquisition mean? Simply put, you have to, if you use client finance acquisition, you have to make money while getting new prospects in the door. You get paid handsomely to get new customers through paid advertising. But what's really interesting, very fascinating to me, and I found this out a few months ago, when I was working through some trainings that I was creating and I was talking to our sales team and I just asked them, hey, what percentage of gym owners that you talk to, and we talk to a lot, actually run ads? And they said 10%, which I thought was fascinating because I thought so many more people actually ran ads. But we found that most gym owners don't run ads to acquire new clients. And if you don't run ads right now, it's usually for one or two reasons, one of two. Reason number one, you simply don't know how to do it, where to start, who to trust, and you don't wanna waste your hard earned money trying to learn. So you're kind of in this position of, I just don't know, so I'm just not even gonna try because I've heard some horror stories or whatever. Reason number two is you've tried it yourself, or maybe you have used an agency in the past, you lost money on it, and you don't believe ads will work for you anymore. So you rely on two ways to get new customers. You rely on referrals and organic or boosted posts. Now, warning real quick, for those of you that use boosted posts, boosting a post on Facebook is not the same as running paid ads. 
Here's the difference. Boosted posts, those are for page likes, comments, shares, and brand awareness. This would be like a boosted post. And here's the difference. Ads are for conversions, shop orders, app installs. They're AKA for sales. And this is totally different than a boosted post. If you're boosting posts, you're wasting your money. Awareness alone does not equal money for a small business. Don't do it. Please don't waste your money, okay? But let's get back to this. So most people, if you're not running ads, you're getting new members from referrals or organic slash boosted post. And while you may get some customers from this strategy, there's a mathematical reason why your gym will hit a hard and very low ceiling if it hasn't already. And here's what I mean and why most gyms do it wrong, even though most of the time it's not their fault. They've just been sold a lie. There's a simple equation to figure out the max number of members a gym will cap out at. It's called the hypothetical gym max equation. Essentially, you're taking the number of clients signed up per month on average, and you're dividing it by the percentage churn you have per month, which will give you the maximum capacity that your gym will hit. You cannot go over this. Here's an example. Let's say you average 10 new clients per month, and you average 10% monthly churn. That means that your gym will max out at 100 people. It can't go higher than that. Because when you hit 100 members and you have 10% churn, you're losing 10 members per month which leaves your gym looking a lot like this. You're just moving in the same direction, just in a circle. Now, since 2017, our company has talked with over 35,000 gym owners from around the world. Yes, 35,000, it's a lot. And in each of these conversations, we get the gym owners basic metrics. We get their average monthly revenue, number of clients, average number of monthly signups, average churn, average profit, and more. <clears throat> and we have collected the data and found that the average gym does the following. Average monthly revenue is around $16,000 a month. Their average monthly client value is 140. They typically have around 115 members. They typically get around four referrals per month and they average signing up around eight to 10 people per month. Their average churn is over 10%, even though they don't believe it is. When we run the numbers, it actually is. And their average profit is less than $1,000 a month as a business, which looks a lot like this. Here's a visual. The average gym at the start of the month, you have 115 EFTs, AKA members. 10 new clients during the month, you get four of them referrals, six from organic or some other channel, they join. Now all of a sudden you're at 125 members right now. So you went from 150 to 125. But during that same month, 11 clients left, 10% of your 115, which leaves you at 114 at the end of the month, which feels a lot like this, you're on a hamster wheel. And so you're stuck, you hit the ceiling and you're unable to grow, which means we have to change one or two things. We have to drop churn or increase acquisition. And it's why most gyms never get to a point of true profitability, one that actually sets a gym owner up. But here at Gym Launch, we have used paid ads to help our clients generate over $650 million in new fitness sales since 2016, using the system that we call client finance acquisition. And it works very simply like this. You take money, you put it towards a platform, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, Google, doesn't matter. You get leads, those leads turn into customers which give you money which you turn back and put it back in the system to get more customers. And this is how the wheel turns. An example of this would be, let's say day one, you spend $100 on ads, you get 10 leads, you get two sales out of those 10 leads. So like five people show up and you close two of them at $600. You make $1,200 that day. Problem is that money actually doesn't hit your bank account. But day two, you do the same thing. You make another 1,200. That money hasn't hit your bank account yet. Day three, same thing. Remember, when we charge cards, that money doesn't hit our bank account for a couple days. We got credit card processing, all that stuff. But by day four, the first $1,200 hits your bank account. And by this point, your new clients are now paying your marketing budget. So you really only had to come out of pocket $300 so by day four, now you're in the black and now you're profitable. And you can use all of that money to go out and get more clients. But what does this really mean though? It's really cool because it's like, oh, it's sweet, I can add more clients. Well, using the client finance acquisition model, it means that you don't need a marketing budget because your new clients will pay for it. You don't have to wish that you, could, you needed money to pay for ads and you don't have to wish that paid ads worked because they do and I'm gonna prove it to you tonight. And you don't have to worry about not being able to afford ads on any platform. But more importantly, this is the stuff that it means. It means that you'll be able to profitably acquire new clients. You'll always be able to pay yourself. When was the last, is anybody here, I'm curious, that your trainers make more than you? Because that's how it was for me for a while. When I first had my gym, I paid my trainers and they made more money than I did out of the business and I had all of the liability and I owned it. Steve, yep, been there. This also means that you can make a real profit in your business. 
you can reach and impact more lives, which that was my goal as a gym owner. Anybody else this way where you, the only reason you're a gym owner is because you want to go out and make an impact in your community. You truly want to change lives. That is why I woke up every single day at 4 a.m. I work 60 hours a week plus to try to make ends meet just so I could keep my gym open. And it also means that every day you don't have to wake up in a cloud wondering what should I do? You wake up every day with a proven plan of action, understanding exactly what needs to happen so you can reach more people, change more lives, and stack more cash inside of your business. And if you're wondering, but it's not this easy, it can't work like this, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. So we are about to get into a lot of technical stuff. So just heads up, this is a training, so no pitch. Like, that's about as much as it is. So is everyone here ready to sit down and take notes? Just wanna make sure because we're about to go hardcore into a very, uh, as I told my team, a girthy training. So get ready. So step one, we need to get the leads. Currently, right now, our average client who uses the following advertising framework that I'm gonna walk you through is getting 206 leads per month for less than the cost of one sign up. Who here does that right now? Is anybody? For less than the cost of one sign up. Sweet, and here's the framework. This is it, it's four steps. You need a grand slam offer, you need scroll stopping creative, you need copy that converts, and a winning ad buying strategy. And I'm gonna walk you through every single one of those. First, we need a grand slam offer, something people would feel stupid saying no to. And after spending almost $4 million over the last six years on fitness ads, here are the best offers we found. And trust me when I say this, I'm about to walk you through these. We continue to test as many as we can every single year. We spend thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on testing new ads, new offers, new hooks, you name it, consistently. These are the top three. Number one is a six week free challenge. The second one is the eight week free challenge. And the third is a 21 day free challenge. Honorable mentions on this one are the 28 day free and the six week or eight week non-free challenge. It is what it is, trust me. If, I could, if we could figure out a way to find a better offer that was a non-free and we didn't have to do it, you better believe it, we would do it. However, at the end of the day, this is the one that is the best. Now, how do these free offers work? If you're unfamiliar with these, I'm gonna quickly go through these. If anyone joins the challenge, whether it's a 21 day, eight week, three week, doesn't matter. The basic premise works like this. The prospect receives three workouts per week. They get a nutrition plan plus support materials like recipe books, um, shopping guides, meal prep guides, all shakes, all this stuff. They get all of these different support materials to help them be as successful as possible. And then they get accountability. They get check-ins, they weigh in every single week, they get texts, phone calls from the team. They have an accountability coach throughout the first six to eight weeks that they're on and then continued on after. But most of the time when we, when we talk about the free challenge, everyone's like, but how do you make money if it's free? Here's how it works. The prospect will pay a deposit for the challenge. If they lose X amount of pounds or X percentage of body fat, they receive that deposit either back in cash, if you choose to do that, or as a credit to a future membership. I prefer the credit. That's what everyone else in our, we teach our clients to do. That's the one that works the most, which means they get that challenge for free. They can either get it back or they can use it as a credit moving forward in a future membership. Here's an example. Susie signs up for the six week challenge. Susie pays a $5.99 deposit to take the challenge, which means she's now invested in the challenge, which means now she has invested in herself and she has something besides another human holding her accountable and giving her a reason to show up to work out, to follow the meal plan and actually accomplish what she's always wanted to do, which is to lose 20 pounds. So she hits her goal of losing 20 pounds. She is now eligible to get that money back as a reward. Hey, congratulations, you get it back or as a credit to a future membership. Now, why are these consistently the best offers? Because of four things, primarily. Number one, lower lead cost. Number two, lower cost of acquisition, meaning it costs less to acquire a new customer, meaning we make more profit every single time we acquire a new customer, which means we have more money to give back to our clients and more money to put back into advertising. Higher cash collected. Low, like short in deter time, frame, basically um, six week, eight week, 21 day, if the shorter the time frame, the more people are willing to pay more money because most people don't care about 12 months, six months, even 12 weeks are a little bit harder now, 16 weeks, all of these are things that when you advertise for them, they're much harder to sell on the front end because people want fast results. And then the other thing that's crazy about this, and this blew my mind when I first ran this, is the clients get better results because it's flipped on its head. Most of the time, in the world, if you go to health clubs, if you go to normal gyms that don't offer these, 
The whole thing is that, hey, I'm gonna come in and try to pay as low a price as possible because fitness is a commodity and I'm gonna have to hold myself accountable to be successful. And yet, over and over and over again, we see consistently that people are unable to do that. So this flips it on its head and it has the individuals hold themselves accountable by putting something that they value on the line. By doing this, they are now investing in themselves. They are putting skin in the game so that they actually follow the plan. For those of you that are trainers, gym owners, on the floor working with your clients, this is before I ever ran this, how many of you, raise your hands, have had a bunch of people come in, be super excited, they come in, they don't put money down like this, they just join a membership, and then they come in for the first couple of weeks, they don't follow any meal plans or any nutrition advice you give them, they come to some workouts and then they leave. Happens all the time, right? Fitness is hard. We understand that. So we need to be able to stack the deck in their favor to help them get the results that they need because if they get the results, we know that fitness is a long-term journey, but if we can show them that we are really good at what we do, we can keep them longer and actually make a long-term change in their life. So now, your first step, if I was gonna do this right now and you wanna do this over the next 90 days, you have three options to choose from and I want you to write this down I want you to pick which one you're gonna run. Your first step now is to choose which offer you wanna run. You wanna run a six week, eight week, or 21 day. I'm gonna walk through what this is later, don't worry. You're gonna know exactly what entails what's part of each challenge, okay? So six week, eight week, or 21 day. Take your pick. The price points that you're gonna sell it at are right here, $599, $999, or $299, okay? That is the offer. Now, once we have the offer in place, we know what we're gonna be advertising. Now we have to figure out how do we get people to stop scrolling? How do we make creative that will catch people's attention, especially in a world where everyone is hooked on the next cool thing, okay? We have to be able to do this consistently and we have to get people to stop scrolling on their phones so that we can get them to read the copy, read the headline and actually give us their information. So let's start with what's working currently for us. For years, videos work the best. Videos, directed camera, videos of people working out in unison, uh, testimonials, as much as we get away with on Facebook, that worked the best. What's fascinating right now is that in the past, we used to have, you used to get hit by Facebook and dinged by Facebook for having text in the images. These are crushing right now. These are absolutely killing it across multiple markets, both in the US and abroad. And so these are just a few examples. We've got hundreds of these that are working. Simple images, and I'm gonna break them down in just a second on why they work, but these types of images are killing it right now across hundreds of markets, and you can literally swipe them, and I'll show you where you can swipe them from in just a second. But I wanna break down the anatomy of why these are winning ads. So number one, inside the text, and if I'm scrolling, I see immediate local call out. So if I live in the Glastonbury area, which is in Connecticut, if I live in there, I'm like, okay, Glastonbury area, it's speaking to me. It's not just a national campaign on Facebook. The second thing is gender call, call out. If I saw this, cool, I shouldn't be getting this ad because I'm a man. But if my wife got it, she'd be like, oh, ladies want it, okay. It's calling out who should be joining this. The second thing is, what's the offer? It's a free six week and then the offer headline, Summer Slim Down Challenge. I know immediately that it's some sort of fitness challenge. I can also tell by the picture that it's some sort of fitness challenge. So I've got the Summer Slim Down Challenge. And then the other piece is obviously, and this is very key for everyone, is you need to have an attractive human. That helps. Men love women and women love women. So women typically do the best. And if you want a little inside scoop on how to get lower ad costs, just market to women and then get them to bring their husbands or boyfriends into the gym. That's what I just stopped marketing to men because it was too expensive and that's how I got a bunch of men in my gym. But you can see this, this is how simple it is, okay? Now, all of these ads were created in Canva and all of you can get access to this. Other types of images and videos that you can try to include that have worked in the past and can work now, group selfies. So if you take a selfie after a big class or if you have an event, everyone's smiling, showing they're flexing, whatever it might be, you need to make sure people are smiling, that can work. You also can get video of people moving in unison, jumping jacks, box jumps, burpees, whatever it might be, flutter kicks, just a huge class, lots of people, because people when they see it, they wanna stop, they wanna know that other people are actually taking part in the class and people are having fun. And then you can also do, this is, does not work as well as it used to, but you could do direct to camera where you're actually doing a pitch, you're trying to sell, high motion, lots of energy, you need a really good hook. This does not work as well as it used to. People do not have the attention span and most people want to be able to read at their own leisure. They wanna be able to see it, which is why the image ads are working right now. They can get all the information faster than having to watch a video. 
If you want to swipe some of our top ads, you can get them for free. Simply go to gemlaunchsecrets.com slash free dash ads. I'm going to stop here for a second. For those of you that want to get it and free training on literally how to run ads, this is it. Go here. You can grab your free if you have not already. Okay. So we are our Grand Slam offer. We have our soul scrapping, uh, scroll stopping creative. The next thing is copy. This is one of the most important parts and I'm about to go into the deepest live training we've ever done on copy to the public. This has only previously been done with our private clients at a private event. So here's the deal. Creative gets people to stop. Copy gets people to convert. It's one of the most difficult skills to acquire in marketing, which is why great copywriters make a ton of money. But if it's cool with everyone here, I am just going to give you the framework for how to write cash collecting fitness copy. All right. And trust me when I say this, it is much easier than what most people think. It may seem like a lot as we go through it, but it actually gets a lot easier the more you do it. It's a simple framework that we just have to walk through. So let's begin. Take notes. To create copy that converts, here is what you need. You need 10 things. Okay. You need messaging buckets. You need a headline, sub headline. You need a call out an offer, obviously. You need a reason why they should opt in and reason why you're making the offer. You need roughly around three bullets around your core message with features and benefits. You need a benefit of the benefit. You need to add that into your copy. You need a call to action and you always, always, always need a PS. Always. Okay. Let's talk about messaging buckets. There's seven types of messaging buckets. Number one is dream outcome. So you could talk messaging bucket from what you're trying to talk about is like, cool. They want to run a 5k. They want to do a bikini competition. They want to make their kids proud. They want to do talk about like a husband comment or something about them, right? Dream outcome. Like their husband notices them. They want to have sex with the lights on for the first time in forever, right? Like you name it, dream outcome. That's a messaging bucket that you can use when you think about copy because that entire thread of copy that you're going to write is all about this messaging bucket. Okay. The next one could be results such as dropping dress sizes, losing belt loops, dropping pant sizes on the first try, you know, like all of these things, these are, this is a whole nother messaging bucket that you can use both for your copy and your creative. If you're doing ads, the next one would be an experience. So we're talking about the benefit of the benefit. And I'll get to this in just a second, how we unpack, benefits and why it's really important that we do this so that you can is one. So it's like, cool, here's a benefit. Do this so that you can accomplish this. It means that you can do this. You also could include stories of experience or emotional reactions here. Another one would be, it's completely different, right? So you could talk about your story. You could talk about a client's story. You could talk about struggles maybe that are slightly different than what most people would think about. You could talk about a solution that is way different, a unique mechanism kind of idea, right? That's what you're thinking about. Another one is just straight selling. So you're just offer heavy, call to action, just let's go. Like, here you go, here's my offer, buy it now. Unique mechanism. A lot of people do this one. This would be like intermittent fasting. We use this unique mechanism to help people lose weight. Um, We've stumbled upon this one thing, keto, macros, whatever, eating out, cheating. This is another one. Sustainability. This is another one. One year later. This is really great, by the way. One year later campaigns are great for clients that have been with you and lost hundreds of pounds, or maybe they lost 75 pounds. Their life has completely changed. It's like one year later story. And so you highlight someone and you use it as a messaging bucket of one year later, Susie came, started with us at this date. And then one year later has, this is her journey. And you tell her story. So those are the messaging buckets. There's seven. Like I said, you're going to get the recording. There's a lot in here. Okay. The next part is the headline. There's three types of headlines. You have the headline with the offer in the copy with a subhead or a hook. So right here, you've got the headline would be free six week transformation challenge. Sub headline is really help test our new program, right? Or the hook, right? You can have the same thing there. The other one would be the headline is in the offer or both. It's the offer in the ad placement itself. So you have free six week transformation with an emoji. And you have at the top, see, notice it's not so much of a headline, it's more of a hook, right? We're looking for 16 ladies who are looking to dramatically transfer their health and fitness with our six week transformation program, but the headline is right there inside of the ad placement. Another one that you can do is the offer in the ad. Like I showed you before, all of these ads, they have the offer in here. Locals want it, free six week full body transformation. Newton Locals, free six week transformation for Los Angeles area, free six week full body transformation. All of these can be here. You can also make it the thumbnail of an actual uh, video. So you can do the same thing. So those are the, that's the headline. we got messaging buckets and then headline sub headline. There are five types of these. 
okay? I know I'm going fast. There's five types of these. One would be quotes. And so help, you have your headline. So like in the copy, if you notice you have like free six week challenge. A sub headline right underneath would be the thing that catches their attention. So think of it as above the fold when you're scrolling and you see an ad, it's above the fold. So you start to read it, it's right below the headline. And this is the thing to get them to actually click on the ad and read the rest of it. This is one of the most important behind the headline. The sub headline can grab people's attention, get them to click and actually read the copy and then convert them. So you can use things like quotes, like, OMG, I barely recognize you. She heard from across the room. Now you're telling a story, right? Now you're thinking, wait, what is it? What is she talking about? What did she say? Like what happened? Another one could be experience, right? I looked in the mirror the first time in seven years and I actually thought I looked good, right? Another one, this is the benefit of the benefit. So you unpack it, we'll get to this even more in just a second, but notice how instead of being like, your dress will, you'll drop seven dress sizes. Instead of saying that, let's talk about the benefit of the benefit. Let's go deeper, let's unpack the dropping dress sizes. Instead, you could say that moment when you put on your favorite dress that hasn't fit you since before you had children and it's loose. See the difference in how this actually makes people feel. How you hear this is, imagine if this benefit was just simply the benefit and it was, you could drop seven dress sizes compared to this. That moment when you put on your favorite dress that hasn't fit you since before you had children and it's loose. Notice the difference? Next one would be emotional reaction. The look on my judgmental mother's face was worth it all. Right? Would that catch your attention? Probably would. You'd be like, wait, what? And then there's results without a claim. This is really important, by the way, especially for Facebook. As much as dropping seven dress sizes since Susie has been with us was cool, you won't believe what happened when she went to pick up her kids at school. Sounds like one of those viral ads and things that like Lad Bible will do and you gotta click on it and then go to the website to read it. Instead, this just starts the story of what's happening. Now, we've got our messaging buckets, headline, subheadline. What about the call out? So there's two types of call outs. It's very simple. This one doesn't take a lot. It's who you want, you have two types, or who you don't want. I prefer to do both in the copy. So this one right here, ladies, my name is Teddy. I'm looking for about 15 individuals who want to test drive my newest and best transformation program. Looking for ladies, right? I'm looking for them to transform their bodies and give me an honest review. This is really interesting right? Who you want. This is for motivated people only. If you've gotten to that point where enough is enough, we want to help. If you're still reading this, you are the people I want. It's talking about who they want. Now, if you, you could also include a PS of who you don't want. If you're a meanie, if you hate puppies, all this stuff. Those are things that I think are really important. And if you can also make it to where it's actually funny and you have humor in it, then people will laugh and they will relate to you even more. Now, we've got the call outs, everything. Now, let's talk about the offer. Offer's super simple. Offer's actually the easiest part. It's your name of the challenge or the offer with a big promise. Free six-week transformation challenge and then the same thing, right? Individuals who want to test drive my newest and best transformation program for six weeks for free to transform their bodies, okay? Very simple. Now, reason why. This one's so important, okay? I won't beat this to death because we don't have enough time because I got a lot of stuff to go through, but it's really, really important to have a reason why you are making such an incredible, unbelievable offer. Otherwise, people will just skip past it. Here are a couple reasons why you might be doing something. Grand opening, crushes. Grand reopening crushes. If you decide to repaint your facility, run a grand opening or grand reopening campaign. Could be seasonal, could be a life event, could be an anniversary, birthday, child born, holiday, just because you want reviews like this, honest feedback, celebrating your thousandth client, thousand, like a thousand pounds lost, whatever it might be. But you can see here, transform your bodies and give me your honest feedback on my new tra training program. That way I can improve and have the best reputation around. You would be doing me a huge favor by letting me know what you think of my program while I monitor your results and progress. We just want to improve, that's it. See how simple that is? Very simple, okay? So we have our reason why. Now, three bullets. This one's actually really easy. Feature plus benefit, feature plus benefit, feature plus benefit. You got two different ways you can do it. You can unpack it a little bit more. You can just go straight right for the gut and just give them exactly what it is, right? You've got what you get, personal workout plan customized to your goal, personal accountability coach, fat burning, body toning, fitness classes, and much, much more. Or you could break it down a little bit more and give it a little bit more color. Here's what to expect. Quick, fun, calorie killing workouts to get toned and burn fat. Now, for some of you that are fitness professionals like I was back in the day that hated the word toned, I get it, but it's advertising. We have to speak their language. So sometimes you have to use words that you may not like, but this gets people's attention and it resonates with them because they see it on Cosmopolitan or whatever magazine that they're reading when they're checking out in the grocery store and they're like, ooh, I wanna get toned. 
when no one actually knows what that means, all right? Another one, super simple meal plan to get results and still have with the emoji pizza and cookies on the weekends. Who doesn't love pizza and cookies? I actually just had them last night. Another one, tons of support to ensure not just hitting goals, but crushing them, all right? So you get to unpack this a little bit more. So now we got the three bullets. Now let's talk about the benefit of the benefit. This is where you get like, this is, this is copy right here. This is how you get people to feel your copy and to feel heard and understood when they read it. So benefit of the benefit, here's an example. Let's say you see an ad or you write an ad that says results guaranteed. No one cares or understands what it means. No one, what, they can't picture the results. They have no idea what this means. They don't understand guaranteed, they don't understand any of that. So what if you just unpacked it a little bit more and you gave the benefit of the benefit and you said this, I will train you for free until you hit your goal. So if they don't reach it, I will train you for free until you reach your goal. Another one, when you tell us what dress size you want to be, you will be that size or we keep training you for free. See the difference? Instead of results guarantee, unpack it. Another one, lose weight fast. It's a claim. Everyone makes it, it's lost its power. Nobody cares, okay? You have to think about which means that, which you will experience when. You have to unpack it and you have to add a benefit to the benefit. I rolled out of bed and walked past the mirror and caught my reflection from the side and my overhang was gone. Do you know how many people would just look at this and be like, wow, this is it. Another one, more energy. Nobody cares, more energy. What does that even mean? At the end of the day, when you are running around with your kids, you will realize you didn't wanna stop and take a nap once. And they are more tired than you. You will reach for your normal cup of coffee and realize I actually feel wide awake, calm, and focused. You will open your eyes in the morning and be awake. Rather than feel, I wish I could have slept more, you will feel like you slept in every morning. Notice the difference? Benefit of the benefit. This is key. Okay, now call to action. This is where I think a lot of people mess up. You have to be very clear on how, on telling them how to sign up and what happens next. So if you want X without Y, click below and type in your info. Schedule your no sweat orientation. Do not apply if you were a meanie. See, calling out people that don't want, okay? Then PS, there are seven types of PSs. And PS, you should always have a PS on any copy that you create. One, damaging admission. We aren't the biggest or the simple or the shiniest, but we are the people you come to last because you won't need to ever try again. That's pretty powerful. Reinforce the call to action. You could use this one. You really should grab a spot. It really will get you into the dress size you want it and keep it. Scarcity, five spots left. Authority, done this with a thousand people. Callaways, must love dogs. Must not hate puppies. Must not be a meanie, right? Make them feel good. You are amazing. Micro congruence. Since you are reading this, then you are a good fit. The PS is so powerful, okay? So now we have all of these. This is all the stuff that you need. 10 things, every piece of copy that you write must have this. If you wanna swipe our copy template, by the way, you can get it for free. Just go to gymlaunchsecrets.com slash free dash ads. It's all there. There you go. Okay, we've got the three. We've got Grand Slam Offer, Scroll Stop, and Creative Copy That Converts. Let's talk about winning ad buying strategy. I'm not gonna go too crazy into this simply because it's all in that free training. You guys can grab it. And this we could talk about for hours and I don't have that time. So placing and running ads isn't complicated, but it does require vigilance. You have to watch it. So here's a quick rundown of how to do it. Okay, if you wanna learn more, like I mentioned just a second ago, and you wanna learn exactly how to do it in more detail, exactly how our agency does it, and how we're able to get incredible results for our clients, go to gymwatchsecrets.com slash free dash ads. You, here's the ads checklist, okay? Number one, if it's a camp, when you're doing your campaigns, CBOs must be turned on. And your daily budget should be set to $50. I know in the training it'll say $25 to $50. Listen, set it to 50, spend some money, I'm telling you. Our top gyms spend over $100 per day and they kill it. When you're setting up your ad set and you go in, use lead forms, so you wanna use lead forms. You wanna schedule the ads to start tomorrow at 4 a.m. If you start it today, it's Facebook loves your money, they will spend your money the rest of the day and it won't work as well. Start it at 4 a.m. the next day. Your location should always be your gym address and the radius that you set should be seven to 10 miles around your gym. If you're in a more urban area, you can shrink that radius down if it's highly populated. Gender, you wanna choose male or female. You never want to run both, ever. Don't do that, please. And the age should be what we have found, 21 to 57 is the best, and your placements will be on Instagram and Facebook feeds and stories only, nothing else, okay? At the ad level, you're gonna have three to five ads per ad set. My suggestion to just save time for you is go ahead and build the ad sets. Um, you have one male and one female ad set with three to five ads in each one, and then you can learn to quickly optimize it and stuff, which we're gonna talk about real quick. What happens when costs start to rise or they don't work? Here's how you optimize. There's two things that can happen. You can have traction, meaning you get good results, but maybe costs are rising, which happens, 
regardless, that is a fact of advertising, or no traction, which means you, you started it and you got little to no results. So if you got traction and it's working, the optimization process is very simple. First, you turn off the two lowest performing ads. You keep the best always running, don't shut them down. You duplicate your winner, okay? And do nothing but change the creative. New banner, images, styles, looks, and types, and then you launch. So you, you add new ones, change it, change the look, change the feel, the style, all that stuff, and then you launch them. That's if you're getting traction, costs are rising. If you get no traction, you might wanna look at your offer. Are you using the right offer? If you're not using the ones that we use and writing the copy the best way, you should probably just rethink it or just reach out to us. We can do it for you, run your ads for, for you um, and cover it all. Optimization process on this though, you would turn off the entire campaign. You would duplicate the campaign. Then you're gonna change the offer entirely or wrap it in a new, more exciting way. And then you relaunch and then just see if it hits, okay? If you don't wanna guess, our team will do it for you. Okay, and then you just rinse and repeat until you have a winning offer. And that is how you get the leads. Step two, get them to show. This is the blue collar business function. I call it the blue collar business function because this is like ditch digging. No one likes digging ditches, but ditches have to be dug. And so this is the thing that gets you the money. If you do not do this, which very few people do, you will not make money, just how it is, okay? So you've launched your ads, and now you have names, emails, and phone numbers flying in. You're like, this is amazing, this is great. You have adults that are scheduling, right? Some of them are scheduling, some of them are not. So what? now the question becomes, how do I get them to show up so I can make money? <clears throat> Excuse me, there are four pillars of lead nurture. I'm gonna walk through these step by step. Number one is availability, we're gonna hit that first. Number two is speed to contact. Number three is the volume of actual outreaches you need to have. And number three is personalization. How do you personalize your contact to start creating a relationship with the people, gain more trust, and set them up to close, okay? So pillar number one, availability. Hands down the biggest mistake gym owners make in lead nurture. This is it. It's simply not having enough appointment times available for prospects to choose from. Imagine if Walmart or Target was only open for business on Monday from 7 to 9 a.m., Wednesday 3 to 5 p.m., and Thursday 11 to 12 p.m. And I was like, this is my only time I'm available. How much money do you think they'd make? Nothing. Do you think they'd make more? Absolutely not. It's ludicrous to think that they would do that. Why? Because if you're not available to meet with people to take their money, they won't give it to you. So if you're like, man, I'm not making any sales, check your availability, right? And if you don't have that availability, you're not making the type of money that you want to, okay? So instead of saying no to making more money, here's why, what your availability should look like. Monday through Friday, if you're running ads, this is what it should look like. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., 3 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Now, does it mean that you have appointments every single, like every minute of those times? No, but you should make it available to take someone's money. Otherwise, you won't be making more money and you won't be changing more lives. And then Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., okay? Now, appointments, how should you set them up? Appointments, the length of the appointment should be 30 minutes long. And prospects should be able to book in increments of every 15 minutes when they go to your calendar. Meaning, even though the appointment is 30 minutes long, let's say uh, it's at 8 a.m. on a Saturday, they can book at 8 a.m., 8.15, et cetera. Now, if it books at 8.15, that means the next appointment won't be able to book until 30 minutes later, right? It takes up that time. But give them 15 minute increments. And they should only be able to book out 72 hours. That's it. They cannot book out more than 72 hours. Otherwise, the chances of them showing drop dramatically. And here's a quick tip. Show rates are typically the biggest thing that people struggle with. So instead of trying to fight it and only have one person show up and allow them to schedule, allow double or triple bookings to maximize your shows per appointment. Because if you have a 50% show rate, you might as well go ahead and let two people show up and book at the same time. And on average, you will only have one person show up. And if two people show up, great. Learn how to sell two people. It's way better. Now, we have availability covered Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to noon, 3.30 or 3 to 7.30 p.m., and then Saturday, 8 to noon. Next, this one's very simple. Call every lead within five minutes of opting in, even if it's late at night. It doesn't matter. If they opted in and you call them, they're gonna be like, wow, you're a real human. This is crazy. What's insane is that responding to a new lead within the first minute increases the lead conversion by 391%. They have found this through studies in B2B that this is the case. Now, I bet it's, I guarantee you it's even higher on B2C. So if you don't hate money, pick up your phone and call them. There are other humans, they need help. You're in the business of helping people and they need help. Just pick up the phone and have a conversation with them. 
That's speed of contact. I don't need to talk about that anymore. You should be contacting them within five minutes of every lead, every time. Now, if you're asleep, I get it. You can have automatic messages sent out and then contact them immediately in the morning. But during the day, when you are awake and a lead comes in, pick up the phone, call them, double dial. Don't leave a message, follow it up with a text message, a video text message, something to catch their attention, okay? Next thing is volume. This is where everyone messes up. Most people mess up on lead nurture period. <laughs> so this is the one where everyone, and here's why. The volume of out outreach it takes to be successful at acquiring new members is unreasonable. It's unreasonable for everyone, okay? It consistently takes an unreasonable amount of follow-up to get an adult, a grown-ass adult, to show up to an appointment they scheduled. And I get it. Do you know how many times I talk to a gym owner and they're like, yeah, but they're adults. I don't understand why they haven't, why they don't show up to their appointment. Well, let me ask you this question. When was the last time you saw an ad on Facebook or Instagram for a local service where you had to go to an appointment? When was the last time you clicked on that ad, you scheduled, and you went? I'm waiting. I've asked this question every single time to gym owners and they've never done it. It is your job to connect with them and let them know that you're not just some crazy person from the internet and that you actually care about them. Get over the fact that they are another adult. Actually call them, show them that you care, and then just do the work. That's it. And I'm not trying to say this as someone that's arrogant because when I first started, I thought it was stupid. I thought, hey, if you're an adult and you set an appointment, you should follow through and you should keep your word. And then I realized that all of a sudden, somehow, there was this random pandemic of flat tires, grandmothers having to go to the hospital, and people getting cancer. And I was like, what is going on? And then all of a sudden I realized, oh shoot, prospects lie. And then I was like, ah, okay, got it. So now I just need to do an unreasonable amount of volume. So here's how much you should contact them at minimum. Days one through five, you should be calling or, and or texting them three times per day, morning, noon, and night. Days five through 10, two times per day, morning and night. Days 11 through 20, one time a day, typically at the end of day. Days 21 through 30, three times per week, so like every other day, and just reaching out to them. Now you wanna switch up how you reach out to them, call, text, video message, whatever, but this is how much it takes, all right? That's a combination of phone calls and texts like I mentioned, and if you feel, I hear this all the time, if you feel like you're bothering them, they will not bother you with their money. Please remember that. Now, we've gotten through the three. Last one is personalization. This is the fun one, actually. This is where you can make lead nurture really fun, and this is the secret sauce to ensuring that your hard-earned money that you spent on getting those leads doesn't go to waste. Here's how you personalize your reach outs to improve your show rates. One, send video text messages. Literally, selfie, take it. Hey, what's up, Susie? I'm Kale from ABC Gym. Just wanna let you know I'm not some crazy person from the internet. You just opted into our six-week challenge. Can't wait to see you. Just shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you got this. Bam, done. Now they see a real human. Okay, how many times does that actually happen in a business? Never. You can send them voice memos so they know and hear your voice. You can friend request them on Facebook or IG. Send them a message, right? You can use memes and emojis. Mix it up, have fun. That's the point of this. They're humans, life is hard, don't make it any harder, okay? We've got our four pil pillars of lead nurture. Just put in the work, all right? So now we've got, get the leads, we've gotta get them to show, now let's close them. Now this is the secret stuff, this is the fun stuff. Now we're collecting cash. And this is the piece that I think a lot of people don't think is fun. Asking for money, having to have fierce conversations with people, having to ask hard questions, make people feel uncomfortable. This is the piece where you actually make because now you have leads showing up and it's time to get them to commit to themselves and for you to make the sale. Everything up until this moment has been a cost to you. You've had to pay with money or time. The next step is to get an actual ROI on your investment and start changing lives and stacking cash. Now, to close cold prospects consistently, you're gonna need three main things. Social proof, an irresistible offer, and the closer framework. And we're gonna walk through all three right now. If you wanna close more fitness deals, you need to create more certainty in your prospects. It's so important. You need to let them know that you're an expert, you have a proven track record of success, and you have done this for people like them. Not just one, not just two, but lots of people. Because you want them to feel like you know exactly how to help them. Because I guarantee you, for most people in the fitness world, if they're trying to change something and you're offering this crazy offer, they are very skeptical. And the only way to get over that is social proof. That is how you create more certainty in your offer. And the types of social proof you should have are before and afters. You can even send this in your lead nurture. 
Facebook reviews, Google reviews, Yelp reviews, video testimonials, endorsements. You should have all of these out, public display, everywhere inside of your facility, as much as you possibly can, okay? As an example, at my facility, right? Um, I had wall to wall, floor to ceiling, testimonials printed out. Testimonials would be before and after, Facebook reviews. I'd literally just take them, print them, put them on, my, on the actual walls. Inside the gym, I trained athletes for a long time, played professional baseball, so I loved training athletes. I had, I got a pennant or a flag from every team and every college that the athletes that I worked with went to. And so I hung them on around the gym. And so when people walked in, they saw those, like, oh, what's that from? I was like, oh, I trained an athlete, I trained a professional baseball player, I trained a professional football player, I trained an NBA player, whatever it might be. And they went to that college. They're like, oh, I went to that college. That's really, who'd you train? And so I like, you start conversations, but all of a sudden they're like, oh, this person knows what they're doing. Okay, so how do we make this happen prior to the appointment starting? So we're thinking about like someone walking into your facility, you haven't said a word, you haven't started anything. So how do we do this? Well, you need to have at least one, your goal is all of the following things inside your facility when someone walks in. If you have the space to be able to do it, this is what you need. You need wall to wall, like I mentioned, floor to ceiling, testimonials in your sales room. Forget how good they look, just put them on the wall. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you do nothing else, from today's presentation and you don't already have this, just do these. Just print them off. It is shocking how easy it is when you are closing a sale and you're just like, oh yeah, you remind me of uh, Susie right here. She's a mom of three, just like you. Yeah, she came in, she didn't actually, she tried a whole bunch of stuff just like you. She went to Weight Watchers, all this stuff. And yeah, look, when she started with us, this is where she was at and now look, pretty incredible. In just six weeks or just eight months or whatever it might be. Now all of a sudden they're like, oh wow, I can do this too. Another thing that's really good, if they're sitting there waiting for their appointment, have a flip book of testimonials open for when they walk in. They can just flip through just a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of social proof, letting them know that you are an expert, which you are, which is why you're here. And then the other thing is if you have a TV, have rolling reviews just going across, before and afters, and video testimonials playing. So you have it in the lobby. And so people are constantly bombarded by social proof and they that will create the certainty that you know what you're doing, okay? That's social proof. I will add one other thing to social proof, which really helps, are what we would call celebrity endorsements. So local doctors, other individuals, athletes, things like that, that will provide a ton of credibility because it's like a celebrity endorsement. And so people will automatically be like, oh, because this person trains this person or gets endorsed by this person, they have obviously impacted that person's life or done something of value. And so this person can do something of value for me. So the more that you show off, the better. And I used to hate that, by the way. I used to not want to do that. I am personally very more kind of quiet about myself. I don't like to talk about myself, but as soon as I started doing that, I started changing more lives and helping more people. Okay, so we got social proof. Second thing is irresistible offer. We're gonna break this down. So those offers, the six week, all that stuff, we're gonna walk through exactly how they work right here. Okay, so the easiest way to close more deals, even if you suck at sales, is just have a better offer. If you just made your offer better, you will close more deals. And here's the offer that we have found to have the highest close rate and cash collected rate, which is very important because you don't wanna just have people come in and not pay money because they're not invested and they won't stay. They're not putting skin in the game. You need to collect cash and it needs to be enough that they feel it. Otherwise, they won't stick with the program. So you're gonna have what we call an A-B offer, meaning if they don't take offer A, they can take offer B. And what this means is that you're just trying to sell the prospect on option A, but if they balk at it or you can't overcome their objections, you can downsell them into option B. This reduces decision-making. So you don't have a whole menu of like 12 different offers that you can do or some custom thing that's vague and it just doesn't work. You can make it so that it puts them in the position to naturally just say yes. It's not do you want to join where it's one offer, yes or no. It is how would you like to get started? See the difference? Now it's an assumed close, okay? Now how you fulfill stays the same. The only thing that changes, again, I'm gonna repeat that. This, we've got this all the time. 21 day, eight week, six week, 14 day, year, doesn't matter. It all stays the same. Three workouts a week, accountability, nutrition, same thing, okay? The only thing that changes is the length of the agreement. So you could do 21 day, which would be three weeks to eight weeks versus a year, okay? The money collected at point of sale, which would be anywhere from 299 to 999 versus 196, which is our pricing that we suggest. And here's what they look like, the two different options, okay? So option A, which is the preferred one because you collect a bunch of cash and it's a great onboarding experience for a lot of people, is known as what we call the challenge sale. So you sell it at these price points and what they get are three workouts per week. They get a custom meal plan, grocery list, eating out guide, sorry about that, training app, 
they get, which we offer trainerized, but you could do something else, whatever it is that you have. One-on-one -on -one accountability and weekly weigh-ins, right? Very simple. What if they say no to the challenge? Well, they get option B, which is a downsell, which is a one-year membership agreement sold as like a VIP membership. It's $49 a week. That's the pricing we have. You could just use your pricing if you want to. Um, if you're charging less than this, you're missing out on a lot. Um, but it's $49 a week times 52 weeks. You collect the first four weeks up front. For those of you that charge monthly, you should switch to weekly or every 28 day billing. You'll collect one extra billing cycle, but that's for another day, but you can make more money. They also get the exact same thing. Notice the same, it's the exact same. Three workers a week, custom meal plan, everything. Because you keep off, fulfillment stays the same, it's easier to scale. And they get the challenge for free when they sign up for a year agreement. And so you just go ahead and give them everything that's in there for free. And it's like, cool, you wanna just go ahead and commit? You're in here for the long haul? Awesome, we'll go ahead and give you the challenge for free, you can sign up and start today. And it's only 196, but they're committing to a year long agreement, okay? Now we have our social proof irresistible offer. Let's talk about the closer framework. This is how you sell them, okay? By now you've given your prospect certainty in your ability through social proof. You're, you're now armed with the actual offer. Now it's time to do the actual sale. Every sale follows the same pattern and it's one that we have seen and completed successfully thousands of times. And we've broken it down, simple acronym. Some of you might be used to this. You've probably seen this, the closer framework. And this is how it is, okay? C, you clarify why they're there. Simply asking, what made you come in today? What made you click on the ad? What's your goal, right? Why did you sign up for this online? The point of these questions is to establish a gap, okay? There's something that they want that they haven't been able to achieve so far or maintain after achieving, and the easiest way to find out is to simply just ask. L stands for label them with a problem you plan to solve. So here is where you highlight or recap their current state versus desired state, AKA get their stats, label them with a problem, something like this. Got it, so you wanna lose weight? Well, how much would you like to lose? Okay, got it, so you wanna lose 40 pounds. So you're currently 180 pounds, 28% body fat. You need to lose 40 pounds to get to your ideal body weight. Does that sound about right? So if we help you get there, you won't be upset with me, right? It's like a little joke. This is how you go about it, okay? O is overview past pain and experiences. Here is where we review their past failures, pains, all this stuff. And this is where you actually have to sit. If you don't find pain, the person won't close because if it's too easy, it just won't happen, okay? So overview past pain, something like this, great. So I know where you are and where you're trying to go, but what have you tried so far? So you wanna find out everything that they have, right? If they keep balking and they keep asking, keep asking, keep asking and nothing's happening, it's just simply like, cool. All right, I gotta be a coach here. I can't help you get where you're trying to go until I know where you've been and what you've done. I need to know a little bit more information so I can make sure that this is the right program for you, okay? You want to mentally or visually, when you're going through this, categorize each of their problems into a chart following what we call the problem pain cycle. It's a simple process. What have you done? How long did you do it for? How long ago? How did that work for you? And you can fit them into something like this, where you fit it into fitness, nutrition, and accountability. So if people did big box only, they only got fitness. If they did PT or boot camp. They got this and accountability, maybe a little bit of accountability, but they missed the nutrition. If they did Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, they did nutrition and accountability, but no fitness. If they did supplements only, they just got nutrition. If they did workout from home, they didn't get nutrition or accountability. They need all three, fitness, nutrition, accountability to be successful, and this is why they weren't successful in the past. What else have you done, right? Those are the questions that you wanna go through. Now, the S is sell them the vacation, not the flight. This is really important. This is where a lot of people mess up. When going on a vacation, let's say you wanna to go to Maui, no one wants to hear about the TSA lines, baggage claim, delays, layovers, time changes. They just want to hear about Maui. They wanna think about sitting on the beach, drinking a Mai Tai, chilling, relaxing. No one wants to think about sweating, how hard it's gonna be, waking up at six o'clock, all this stuff. They don't wanna do that. They wanna know what's it gonna be like when they fit in that dress for the first time in 20 years. That's it. They wanna know what it's like, and they wanna hear what it's like when they are ready to have sex with the lights on. That is what they wanna know. Now, E is explain away your concerns or their concerns. This is where you are gonna have objections. So closing is when you've made the pitch, you've asked for the sale, and now the objections start to come through. Most of them are smoke screens. Most of them are not real. This is where you explain away them and you confront the objections, okay? Typical objections that are gonna come up are related to price, it's too expensive, stall, I need to think about it, or I need to talk to my husband, spouse, or lucky rabbit's foot. Most of these come up and when you are prepared for these, it makes it much easier to be able to do it. But again, remember, most of them are smoke screens. They're not actual true objections. They're just trying to, basically, they just need more information or they have doubts about themselves, okay? R is reinforce their decision. This is where you've closed them 
This is the last step. It prevents any buyer's remorse and is the beginning of the relationship. You wanna give them an amazing first impression and because you only have one shot at this, you might as well make it absolutely spectacular. And here's a trifecta. These are the weapons of choice that we choose and we tell our clients to use. And you can pick one or do all three. <clears throat> handwritten cards are fantastic. After you close them, write a handwritten card to them, welcoming them to your facility. A call from the owner. So if you're the owner and you don't sell people, call them the next day. Maybe have your fitness director do it, right? Give them t-shirt or swag to walk out with so they feel a part of the community. These are simple things to reinforce a sale, start to give them a new identity as a member at your facility. So here's where it is. Closer, clarify why they're there, label them with a problem you plan to solve, overview past pain and experiences, sell them the vacation, not the flight, and explain away their concerns and reinforce their decision. Wrap it up here in just a second. But this simple framework has led to over 600, it's actually 650 million in fitness sales over the past seven years, and it's so simple, anyone can do it. Now, we have all three of these. We've got our social proof, irresistible offer, closer framework, which means we have gone through all three steps. We've gotten leads, we've got them to show, and we've closed them, all right? Now, that's the three-step process. It's very simple, right? We've used it with over 5,000 gyms to help them fill their gyms in capacity, change more lives, and stack a whole lot of cash. To quickly make this a little bit more real, though, I wanna talk about something real quick, and I wanna show you numbers, okay, to show you how this is possible. Let's say your goal is to add 100 members in the next 90 days. Here's how you're gonna do it. We're gonna reverse engineer it. Let's say you get $15 lead cost. That is above our average, so I'm just going above our average. Let's say you get a 50% schedule rate, 50% show rate, and a 50% close rate, just across the board. Some of y'all will close higher, some of you get lower schedule rates, some of you get higher, some of you get lower show rates, some of you get higher. Let's just say that that's the number. And you want 100 new members. If you close them at $599 on the six-week challenge, you'd make $59,900. Anybody here opposed to making almost $60,000 in the next 90 days in cash collected? Didn't think so. Okay, let's reverse engineer. In order to get 100 new members at a 50% close rate, you need 200 people to show up, which means at a 50% show rate, you need 400 scheduled. And a 50% schedule rate means you need 800 leads. At $15 per lead cost, it's $12,000 over 90 days, which is $4,000 per month. My question to everyone here is, would anyone here be willing to pay $12,000 to make $60,000? That is a five to one return on your investment. This is how you scale. That does not include the LTV of the client. That is cash collected. That does not include EFT. That does not include year-long agreements. That does not include how long you keep them after. This is just on the front end. And remember, with client finance acquisition, your $4,000 a month in ad spend is covered after your first seven signups every single month. In fact, your first 21 signups, if you just took that cash and allotted it over the next, the rest of the 90 days, that is your ad spend. Everything else is pure profit when it comes in. Now, I hope all of you, I try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. I know people have lives and you're doing stuff and it's a Thursday evening. I do wanna say thank you to everyone. I hope you found at least some of this valuable. Maybe it's one part, maybe it's not. Let me know, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Tell me what you found valuable, what you didn't, um, so I can continue to improve on this as we go. If you'd like to learn more about this stuff and you'd like to do it live with other gym owners in the same room and learn from the likes of Alex Hermosi, Layla Hermosi, Flex Lewis, myself, um, Alex Rodriguez and others. We are hosting the largest gym business conference in the world, GymCon 2023. It's gonna be in Orlando, Florida, May 4th through the 6th. To learn more, you can reserve your seat. Head to gymcon.com. You can learn more and I'd love to see you. So next month, just as a heads up, like I mentioned earlier, when we started this, we're gonna be hosting free trainings every single month. Next month, I hope to see all of you. We'll be doing a free training on sales choreography. We're going to go into detail on how to have your prospect begging to buy without saying a single word. All right, now, I just wanna say thank you to everyone. Again, I don't take this lightly. I really appreciate everyone's time and attention. I hope you all have an incredible night. I love you all as gym owners, as a former gym owner myself, and getting to work with gym owners consistently. I think y'all are some of the best, if not the greatest entrepreneurs in the world because you're on the front lines actually changing lives. And I love all of y'all. And remember always that gym owners rule. I appreciate you all. I hope you have an incredible night. Um, let me actually answer some of these real quick. Um, I see some of these, multi-room trainer, great, awesome. How can we use ClickFunnels for client acquisition? You can use it as funnels. Um, not really, you can use it for scheduling funnels. Um, how do you write copy saying free without getting in trouble? It's not false advertising because it actually is free. Um, because when they come in, they put a deposit down, they have the chance to actually get that money back. If you do it as a credit it, and a results guaranteed or something like that, and you can train for free, it's actually even better and will hold up with a test. We've done this with literally over 5,000 gyms and no problems. 
Um, do you find the people that register for this and show to the appointment feel lied to? Uh, you'll have maybe 1% of people that do. The reason why is very important when you sell them. You have to give the reason why. The reason why is typically they've tried in the past and the reason why they weren't successful is because they didn't have skin in the game and that's why they didn't do it. Because if they actually could do it, they would go onto Google and they would research and get a nutrition plan, a workout plan and everything else and then they would be successful. Very easy to overcome. Our target markets are athletes, hockey, baseball. Have you seen the six-week option work? Not so much with that. That's a totally different avatar. I used to train them. That's way different. Six-week does not really work for that. You need to go after the coaches and athletes and really get some of the top athletes um, in your local area and basically sponsor them or get them to train with you, and then you'll start getting everyone else. Online, you can use the same thing online. We've done it before. Text responses use things like go high level. Lead ads or landing page. Lead ads, then you can push them to a landing page to schedule. Um, does this work outside of the US? Absolutely. We have clients all over the world. Um, target location, just spread out. You can start at a 50 mile radius. You can even go, like we've had clients that are going online, they do full um, time zones. So whole East Coast. Uh, Ryan, I greatly appreciate taking time for this. We have only uh, only all women's gym in our area with this 100%. Yes, um, all women's is actually great. It's super easy. It immediately tells people who, who you are and Frankly, if I could start again, I'd probably just do a women's only gym. It's much easier. How can you show social proof without testimonials? New gym about to get started. Um, you're going to need to get social, uh, social proof as quickly as possible. So if you have your own story, use it as social proof. If you train other people for free, do it. Um, but you are going to want to get social proof as quickly as possible. So you're gonna to have to get people and potentially maybe train them for free to start because you, why would anyone trust you right now, right? What is realistic goals set for the free challenge? So interesting fact, if you guys want a little tip, for those of you that are hanging out still, I got 83 people on here. If you guys wanna know how I did it, the first time I ever did it, I did cash back. Um, I did the regular way. <clears throat> and I had less than 5% of people win and ask for their money back. I had a lot of people win, but I converted them into a membership afterwards. But after that, I went to credit only and I took away the minimum requirement of like 15 or 20 pounds or 5% body fat. And instead I said, if you finish the challenge and you wanna stay afterwards, I'll take your entire deposit and I'll credit to a membership moving forward. And you take that credit and you spread it out over 12 months. And that's what I did. And I saw a ton of results with that, a ton. Does this work for martial arts schools? No, you need to have a fitness aspect to it. Um, Ads get served to people outside your target area. Yes, just only have it to serve people that live in that area. Uh, Jason, thanks for taking time. Awesome. Yeah, man, I didn't want to pitch, dude. I just want to help you guys. Um, here at Gym Launch, like our vision is to help gym owners fall back in love with their clients and to achieve financial freedom that for some reason most gym owners are unable to do. So I hope you guys take this. Um, Awesome, Tommy, I love it, man. Brush up on some motivation, get it done, some verification. I also learned a few things to help me where I've been struggling the most. Awesome, man, good. I'm glad you got some stuff. Started training women after my mother passed away due to poor health and not, dude, I get it, man. My mom passed away from cancer back in 2015. Um, option, so option A or option B, when you're thinking about the sale, option A is great for when you need cash. Um, option B is the long-term thing. You can choose it depending on the what you need. If you need more cash, go option A and really work hard on option A. If you have really low churn and you have a great program, then what you can do is you can have them, you can really push option B and try to push people into that. Um, Kevin, awesome man, I'm glad dude. Just keep working hard, dude. Uh, parameters for radius for online coaching. So we suggest when we used to do online coaching, we don't work with online coaches anymore. Uh, we have some in our program and they crush. However, we're really focusing on just brick and mortar. But if you're online, start at a 50 mile radius of your location and then you can expand and go past that. Um, <clears throat> Maximum Fitness is a one-on-one -on -one personal training studio. I've had an introductory special for 23 years. Eight sessions for, eight sessions for $99. Um, so we suggest if you're doing personal training and you're doing three times a week, it needs to be a minimum of $199 a week and you don't wanna do it per session. You wanna put them on a monthly retainer and they're gonna pay you. Otherwise, if you sell packs, you're selling people to exit. So my suggestion is not doing that. Eight sessions for $99. Um, I would rather suggest on something like that, you can use a six week challenge and bring them in and you can charge a lot more for that. So you could literally do a six week challenge, give them two sessions per week and you could charge 9.99 or 5.99 and you could do excuse me you could do two sessions per week that's 12 um, for the six weeks and you're giving them four more sessions but you're going to make um like 900 dollars more than what you are now um isaac how well does this work for online trainers what price point would you use 
still the same price point. You just need to do a better job online. I was having this conversation with another business owner who actually works with online trainers. You need to have a better, you need to make sure that you qualify people and you have enough friction. You need to make people work for it online because online there's way less trust in people because there's a lot of people online. So you really have to make yourself look bigger than you actually are. And you need to be able to have some sort of friction during the process, AKA have them opt in. Then you need to work them, have them go through an application and qualify themselves before they ever show up. Otherwise you're gonna have a really high no-show rate. Can you use this for high-end clients in the top 5%? My suggestion on that is actually slightly different. You can use this, but it's gonna be super high priced, um, very high priced for them to come in. And sometimes the challenge isn't the right one for them because they just know what they want and they're gonna pay for it and you could just have them opt in. So what happens is during the sale, you can use it to advertise for them, but when they come in, you can actually just realize quickly that this is not the right thing for them. I had this before where I'd have people come in and after learning a little bit more about them on a one-on-one -on -one piece, I realized, okay, this person could just go ahead and sign up for a semi-private for a year and they pay in full. And then you make 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand, whatever it might be, right? Yes, how about semi-private gyms? Yes, this crushes. Freaking love semi-private gyms. Absolutely love them. This demolishes. Uh, Ryan did 102K this past year without, so I will definitely try this. Yes, please. Um, our average gym does over 600,000 in gym launch. Uh, when they come to us, typically they are less than $200,000 a year. Um, so I highly suggest doing this. Cryotherapy center for membership sales. You can in a way. Um, we have one of our director of R&D and kind of guy that runs our agency as well inside. He has a ton of experience. He's actually taken some aspects of this and run them inside of uh, like Cairo, um, not cryo, but like Cairo. But if you can factor in nutrition and fitness and all this stuff, you can do something like this, like a pain-free challenge. Um, Sierra, I'll see you in May. Awesome. I cannot wait to see you. Jeremy, thanks. Have you found this works with selling to kids? Uh, not really. I'm not really a big fan of uh, this for kids. And um, just from a value standpoint, kids don't need to lose weight. So this is a weight loss challenge typically. Uh, not a thing that you should offer for kids. Their job is to learn better movement patterns, get stronger and learn how to lift and just increase confidence in the weight room. Um, awesome, Liz. I'm glad that this uh, relit a little bit of fire in you. Constant struggle weighs heavily. I totally understand. If you ever need help, we're here. Hop in the high ticket group, ask questions. Eddie, love the content. Awesome, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Appreciate it, Jack. Great work for the ad creation. Would you create a campaign just for men? Yes. Uh, no, not a campaign, just ad sets. You can keep the same cam campaign. Um, you just wanna have gender uh, split it up. Sorry, I guess selling to parents with young children get them even more. Yeah, selling because the parents have the money. That's the one. Uh, one thing, by the way, Jeremy, if you're selling to them, most of the time, parents just want their kids to be faster. They don't think about bigger because they're being sold this lie or stronger. They don't even think about that. They actually are like, hey, I want my kid to be faster. So if you're gonna tell them you can increase their speed, you can do it. That's way easier. Parents love that. They want their kids to be the fastest. They also want them long-term to be bigger, stronger, and all this stuff. But most of the time when they're younger, speed helps a ton. You can run speed clinics, free speed clinics, and then upsell them into training. Uh, Mo, can I have the replay? Yep, it'll be emailed later. Uh, Ryan, me and my four buddies are paying for the event in Orlando. Awesome, man. Dude, I cannot wait to meet you guys in person. Like, I am so stoked to meet all these, all of y'all in person. I cannot wait. We're going to go into so much more detail. Alex and Layla are going to be talking. We've got Flex Lewis, seven straight, seven consecutive time Olympia winner. Um, has his own podcast, owns his own gym. If you guys have ever been to Vegas, Dragon's Lair, it's a beautiful gym. Uh, Jason Phillips is going to be there. A-Rod's going to be a keynote. I cannot wait for that. It's going to be an incredible weekend. Uh, Dave, price point for six-week challenge, roughly for semi-private, 150 a week, currently three times per week. You need to be, uh, that's not bad for three times per week, Dave. Um, so for that one, I suggest for semi-privates, our price point was typically in the $9.99 for six weeks to $14.99 for six weeks. So most of the time, if you think about it, if your typical pricing is, whatever your typical pricing is, you want your challenge to be higher per week than what your regular EFT membership or reoccurring membership is. Because when you go to convert them, you wanna convert them into a lower price point with the same amount of service so that ultimately they can make sure, it's basically what we call the downsell upsell. You're going to upsell length of time and you're gonna downsell price. Uh, link for the call, yeah, like a recording, Jason? Yeah, for sure, man. Um, thank you, yes, faster, Jeremy. Awesome, Liz, I bought from someone else that owned multiple locations who just had low pricing. How would you suggest I increase from $100 a month to what we were really worth? Uh, we have, so if you go through some of our trainings, we got free stuff that will walk you through it. Um, if you get the Gym Launch Secrets book, there's a letter in there. 
Um, if you join, we'll give you the letter, you have all this stuff where you send out a letter and you have communication to your members with a whole bunch of reasons why, and it will show you the price point that you need to raise it to um, and communicate and how to communicate that. So Jeremy, awesome. Yep, uh, Dwayne, it'll just be emailed out. So awesome guys, I'm gonna hop. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, for those of you that were on Facebook, I've not been keeping track of any of the comments, so I apologize if you're watching this in the high ticket group. But um, anyways, appreciate you all. Have an incredible evening and I will catch y'all next month. Peace.